Hi, my name is Jennifer Hall and I'm an educational technology specialist in Atlanta. I'm a little obsessed with my Genmoji. She leads a very exciting life and I spend a lot of time designing resources for teachers and students and I'm going to share some of my favorite hacks that I've come up with that I think you're going to find interesting. So I create a number of resources like this one which is a cartoon explaining what my role is as an ed tech specialist. I create a lot of infographics and things like that. I'm going to show you some what I think to be pretty creative tips and tricks. So I absolutely love Bitmoji but one of the things is that sometimes you, you're looking for Bitmoji and it's not exactly what you want. For example on the left hand side here you can see this let's do this which I love the message but as you can see that facial expression I'm a former ELA teacher so I do think that mood and tone and all of that is very important and, and for visual cues as well that to me looks like you're a little more angry than excited about trying something so what I've done is I've done a little face swapping that's what I call it and I've created this one right here so, uh, another example here and I'm going to show you how I did both of these I love the message as an ed tech specialist I love that I'm sitting in front of the computer and that's exactly what I do is help teachers with tech integration but I wanted to level up and uh, make it something more interesting to put on my website. As you can see, I did a face swap and I actually added a background to uh, make it a little more interesting. So I'm going to show you how I did both of those. So first off, I'm going to grab this Bitmoji right here and you can add it by clicking and dragging it in or right click, copy, paste. So I've added this one in and we want to change out this face. So the next step is I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to the Bitmoji Chrome extension. Now, if you're not familiar with Bitmoji and you don't even have one yet, I'm going to share a video link uh, of exactly how you create your Bitmoji from starting from scratch and also a little tip on how you install the Chrome extension that gets you started with Bitmoji. It's very important that you have the Chrome extension installed because that's how you're going to be able to add it to your slides or Google Drawings or any other documents that you want to add it to. In addition, you can also use the mobile app, which is pretty cool. And we'll talk a little bit about some of the features on that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look for one that is the profile notice is turned facing this way. So I've got to find one that looks similar, but has a better expression. So down here on the bottom on the Chrome extension, you'll see those are the I like the love you bitmojis. And then these are the smiley happy faces one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through here and I'm going to find one that the profile is looking about the same. Uh, I think this one right here looks pretty good, so I'm going to grab this in here. I'm just going to drop it in. So as you can see, the profile is about the same, and I'm going to double click on this to crop it. So I'm going to crop it over by dragging in. If you're not familiar in slides, you double click on an image and you can mask it. So that does it as the original rectangle. What I'm going to do is go up here to the mask, hit drop down, change the shape to a circle. Now by doing that, I can drag this in and just get the face profile. There we go, pretty close. All right, so now I'm gonna to wanna to tilt it just a little bit so that it angles about the same. And I'm gonna shrink it down just a little bit and drag it on over. Still a little bit large, I'm gonna bring it in. Look at that, like magic, it lined right up. If you'll notice, there's a little bit of a line and so to fine tune things, and I'm gonna zoom in here just to take a look. So it's a view, we're gonna say zoom it all the way in to 200%. And I'm going to just double check to see where the line is. So there's a little bit of a line. So to fine tune things, all I have to do is hold the shift key and I just arrow over just a little bit. And that's lined up now. Let's scroll up. That looks good. Let's go back to viewing at fit. And now I'm going to group it. And I've got a new image. So now I can copy and paste this, put it uh, wherever you want. Save it into Google Keep so you've got this digital sticker you've created. You can also export it and use it for social media. So many options. So let's take a look at the other one that I created. So the other one I created, I did a face swap as well. So we're going to go here and I'm going to say, can I help you? There it is, dragging it in. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to change the face, but this time also I'm going to add a background shape so I can add some color to it. So let's first go over here and grab a profile face. So we're going to go to the smiles. We want to get the right expression. So I'm going to scroll down here just a little bit. I kind of think this ha looks good because it looks like inviting, smiling. So I'm going to drag that over, bring it up, double click, go up here to that masking option, hit shape, circle. So I'm going to cut out all that other stuff I don't need. Drag that up right here. And now I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit. 
and line it up. Obviously, I got to get it to match. And I can move either the background image or the top image to get it to line up. And let's do this. All right, shift. Now we're going to want to tilt it just a little bit. There we go. And that looks pretty good. But again, I always zoom in, making sure everything's lined up. And I can see I'm off just a little bit. And I've got some excess line over here, so I've got to make sure I don't have any of that text there. And I'm just going to arrow over just a smidge more and a little bit down. Now, you might have a little bit, just because of the, the neckline, it might be a little off. Uh, I think it looked a little bit better before. I mean, if it's that close in, nobody's looking that close. They're just taking a glance at it. I think that looks pretty good. Go back to fit. So that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to bring the hair head shape in just a little bit. Don't want to look like a bobble head. <laughs> and bring it up a little bit more. And I think, there we go. That looks pretty good. So it's like magic, looks pretty good. Now the next part is I'm gonna add in a shape. So I'm gonna say insert shape. And you can pick any shape you want. I'm just gonna go the square and I'm gonna fill it with uh, one of my favorite colors, blue. Move that to the back. And voila, I've got a new sticker that I can export and I can jazz it up. I can also go in and modify the text, which I do that quite frequently as well. but. They've added a feature that makes it a lot easier. Now I'll just go up here and say I want Bitmoji sticker that says Tech Tips 411 and I'm just going to type that in there and um, grab one that I like and I think that one looks pretty good. Now each time you do this it's going to add a little yellow button down here so I'm going to crop in and remove that because I don't want that to show up. There we go. But that's there so that anyone else is looking for your Bitmoji they know it's a custom one. Do that again one more time. So each time you type in your whatever you're looking for, you're going to get new options. So notice I got different ones this time. So what I'll do is I'll just copy that and just paste it in and see what new ones I get. Each time I get new ones that I might want to use. So I'll look for ones that have uh, colors that match the, the theme of whatever I'm designing. For example, uh, my Tech Tips 411 newsletter. So I like that one. So I drop that in there. That's actually one of my colors that I use. And I like that one. There's that gold button. I can double click on this, change it to a circle, drag this out so you still get all of the text at the top. And I've cut that one little circle out and that looks pretty good. So that's how you can do custom text inside of the Chrome extension. Again, you want to make sure you have that Chrome extension installed so you can utilize Bitmoji inside of slides and docs and any of your online platforms that you want. Also, there's a really cool option now with that custom text is available in the mobile app. And I'm going to show you what that looks like here. Bitmoji's iOS app just added a new feature. You can create custom stickers. Type in the text you want and voila, you've got a custom sticker automatically. So hopefully you enjoyed these quick tips, my gen hacks for using Bitmoji, doing a little Bitmoji surgery here. It's just kind of fun. If you are interested in graphic design and you want to be able to kind of level up, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this beneficial.